What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this lesson, we are going to load a component family to our project and then after that, we are going to add components from the new family to our project. Okay? So now, the first exercise is we're going to uh, load a component here. So to load a component, so let's say for example, you have a family that you have saved and then you want to load it inside this uh, fire station project so to do that what you do is just go to the insert tab and then after that select your load family and then you just need to go to the folder where you have saved the family for in my case i have saved it here on the plumbing fixtures i'm gonna load both just click one and then hold control to click the other one to the selection to add and then after that just select your open okay so since this family is already loaded inside this project i am seeing this uh, family already exists uh dialog box so i just need to override the old one just override that that's for the first family and then this is for the second family okay so basically that's how you load a component family inside your project now i'm going to add toilets and sinks to my toilet room so from the ground floor i'm going to zoom in so this is where i'm going to load it so to load it from the architecture of course if you are doing mep just go to the systems here and then you just insert plumbing fixture but let's say for example you are working on architecture so what you do is just go to the component so click the drop down arrow here and then look for place a component so you click that and then after that look for the type or the family that you would like to insert inside your project so here i would like to insert the toilet so i can search here the one that i have loaded a while ago so i can type toilet and then i'll be using this one m toilet commercial wall 3d i'm gonna use 480 mm so let's click that and then this family is a wall hosted family that's why you need to click a wall to place the instance okay so just click that to place it and then just select your modify to terminate so if you want to change the distance of this uh, plumbing fixture let's say to this wall here so you just need to click again the plumbing fixture and then you can see the temporary dimension so what you do is you see that blue node there you can actually drag that to move that so that's a witness line you can move it here there you go and then after that you can change here the witness dimension or the temporary dimension so let's say i would like that to be 450 and then just enter that's it okay right so let's place another one here so let me another way of uh, inserting your uh, plumbing fixture just click that right click and then create similar so you can click that and then again just click here there you go and then just select here modify and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open the main floor double click that and then let me go to the view tab and then select tile views here okay so i can see side by side my main floor and then my ground floor so as you can see here on my main floor this family here this specialty equipment is already loaded on my main floor or placed on my main floor so i'm gonna copy this so to copy this to your ground floor so you just click that and then after that press ctrl c okay or you can click that icon copy to clipboard so once you control c or copy to clipboard this uh, family so you can now click the paste drop down and then you can select here as a, uh, align to selected levels just click that and we want that to be copied on the ground floor then just select ok there you go so it's now copied here okay so i'm gonna zoom in here on my ground floor and then i'm gonna put another uh, toilet to this area here so i'm gonna click this right click create similar and then let's put one here there you go and then select modify again if you want to change the distance just click that move the witness line to this side here and then you can specify the distance so let's say 450 as well then click outside okay so here so let's say i want to insert the urinal 
So I go to the architecture again and then place a component. You can type CM for the shortcut. And then from the type properties, let's look for the urinal, which is this one. Let's click that and then let's place it. There you go. And then select modify. Now this side here, I want to place the sink. Okay, so same procedure, place a component, properties. Let's look for the sink. Where is that? Letter S. This one. M sync wall barrier free 3D. So let's click this and then let me just put it here. There you go. Okay, and then just select here modify. Okay, so same procedure if you want to change the distance of this. So let's say from this wall. So just click that and then you can move that uh, witness line. You can drag that to this side here. If you're having a difficulty highlighting this wall here, just move your pointer here while holding the left click and then press tab. So once you see it highlights, release your left click. There you go. Okay. Let me do again. So uh, let me select component. The sink. I'm going to put it here. There you go. And then select modify. So if I click the sink, you see the witness line is snapping at the center line. So I want that to snap here. So I'm going to drag. I'm going to hold the left click on that blue node. And then, as you can see, it's not highlighting. So while you are holding your left click, press tab once. And then you can see it's now highlighted. So release your left click. There you go. Then you can now change to whatever distance that you want. There you go. Okay. And then we are going to copy all of this uh, plumbing fixtures component to our uh, main floor level. So let us just select. Let's click this, hold control, click this one, click uh, this one, hold, uh, press tab to highlight and then hold control, click, hold control, click, hold control, click, click, okay. And then control C to copy. Okay, so here on the main floor, you are now on the main floor, so go to the paste, and then this time you can select align to current view. Okay, because our current view is the main floor, so this is my main floor. So let's go to modify, paste, align to current view. And there you go. So we just need to move this to that wall. So select modify to deselect the objects, and then click that family. Let's move that. And then let's click the base point and then move that to the face of that wall. There you go. And then just select modify. All right. So that's how you load a component, place it, and copy to another level. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is let me just uh, maximize my ground floor. I'm going to close my main floor. I want to edit this door here. Okay, so this is M single glass 1, 915. So let's say I want 1,200. The problem is there's no 1,200 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new single glass 1 type, but the width is 1,200. So to do that, uh, let me go to the architecture. Let me select the door tool and then just make sure single glass is selected. And then after that, you select your edit type. So we are going to create a new type for our M single glass door. Okay. So we're going to create a new component family type. So by default, you can see the preview here. You just need to click that because by default, it looks like this. So if you want to see the preview of that door, just click the preview. And then here you can change the type of the view that you want. So you can either view that in 3D view like that. Or you can view to elevation view or floor plan or RCP. Reflected ceiling plan. So for this one, I just want that to be elevation exterior view. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate because I want to create a new type. So duplicate. Let's change the name. So this will going to be 1,200. So that's the size that I am going to create. 
and then I'll just select here OK so there's the new type so let me change the width here to 1200 okay so let us play around so let's move the slider down and then let's change some of the parameter here so for example for the rail width base so instead of 102 I'm gonna change this to 450 and let's see how it looks like so let's select here apply there you go so this is now how it looks like so let me change the style with hinge so as you can see it highlights here so it colors red if I click this you can see it colors red so somehow Revit tells you where is that particular parameter that you are changing anyway for the style with hinge I'm gonna change this to uh, let's say 300 same with the latch change that to 300 and then I apply see how it looks like and there you go so this is how it looks like and then let's change the door material so for the door panel material so let me change this one so instead of door panel material I'm gonna change that to stainless metal stainless so that's the material that I like for my door material and then for the frame material I want metal as well so let's search it so metal uh, let me use this one um, metal paint finish dark gray math so let's select ok and there you go select ok and select your modify so we already created a new type there you go 1200 so let's terminate first the door so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click this door and then I'm just gonna move it down by using the arrow down and then I'm gonna select here the selection box to see that in the 3d view change the visual style detail level to fine and then the visual style to realistic so let's see how it looks like when we change the type taking some time okay so let me just adjust this adjust this one okay so let's change the type so let's click this let's select the type that we have created which is this one the metal then just click outside and there you have it so there's now your new type of door okay so that's how you create a new component family type you just need to duplicate it and then change the name then change the parameters okay so that's it for this simple exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day